The human nervous system is like a computer. The central nervous system functions like a computer processor that performs most of the functions of the body, whereas the peripheral nervous system acts like a system of cables that carries data from the central nervous system to the body and brings the feedback from the body to the central nervous system. The hypothalamus belongs to the central nervous system and is part of the forebrain or the prosencephalon. It is located below the thalamus and it is composed of nuclei and nerve fibers. The hypothalamus is a small but important part of the brain. Through its neural pathways and connections, the hypothalamus controls complex functions of the body like maintaining the homeostasis, thermal regulation, secretion of hormones and many more functions. Functions of the hypothalamus Temperature regulation the hypothalamus regulates the body temperature and under normal physiologic conditions, the temperature is set at 37 degrees. This function is carried out by two centers present in the hypothalamus, the heat loss center and the heat gain center. The heat loss center is located in the anterior hypothalamus. In case of increased body temperature, the heat loss center is activated and promotes heat loss by cutaneous vasodilation and sweating thereby cooling the body. The heat gain center is located in the posterior hypothalamus. In case of decreased body temperature, the heat gain center is activated and reduces heat loss by increasing shivering and increased metabolic reactions, thereby maintaining heat in the body. Action on the posterior pituitary The hypothalamus is connected to the posterior lobe of pituitary gland by a neural connection arising from the supraoptic and the paraventricular nuclei. The hormones released by the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland are the antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin. These hormones are synthesized by the cell bodies of neurons in the supraoptic and the paraventricular nuclei. They are transported to the posterior lobe of pituitary through the hypothalamo hypophysial tract and are stored here. When the hypothalamus sends signal to the posterior lobe of pituitary gland, the antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin are released in circulation. Action on the anterior pituitary The hypothalamus is connected to the anterior lobe of pituitary via the portal hypophysial vessels. Stimulation of neurons present in the hypothalamus leads to release of chemical agents which are the releasing and inhibitory hormones that travel through these vessels to the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland. These chemical agents influence the anterior pituitary to release the following hormones. These are the growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, corticotropin releasing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone and prolactin. Action on the adrenal cortex Stimulation of the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus by factors like emotion, stress and trauma causes increased secretion of corticotropin releasing hormone. The corticotropin releasing hormone reaches the anterior lobe of pituitary through the hypothalamo hypophysial portal vessels and signals the anterior pituitary to release the adrenocorticotropin hormone. The ACTH stimulates the adrenal cortex to synthesize and release cortisol. Action on the adrenal medulla the dorsomedial and posterior nuclei of hypothalamus in presence of emotional stimuli like stress and exercise cause a sympathetic stimulation of the adrenal medulla through the nerve fibers to release catecholamines like epinephrine and norepinephrine. These in turn deal with the emotional stimulus by raising the blood pressure, heart rate and blood glucose levels. Control over the autonomic nervous system the hypothalamus has a firm control over the functioning of the autonomic nervous system. The ANS has sympathetic and the parasympathetic divisions that innervate the visceral structures like the smooth muscles, cardiac muscles and the glands. They are involved in functions those are performed unconsciously or involuntarily. The sympathetic division of the ANS is under the influence of the lateral and the posterior nuclei of hypothalamus while the parasympathetic division of the ANS is under the influence of anterior nuclei of the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus processes sensory impulses received from visceral organs and regulate functions like the movement of food, heart rate 
and the contraction of bladder along with respiration and sexual arousal. Control over the heart rate The hypothalamus controls the heart rate by its action on the vasomotor center in the medulla oblongata. The medulla has a vasoconstrictor and a vasodilator center. When the lateral and the posterior nuclei of hypothalamus are stimulated, the vasoconstricted area in the medulla sends signal to the heart and there is an increase in the heart rate. When the anterior and the preoptic nuclei are stimulated, the vasodilator area in the medulla sends signal to the heart and there is a decrease in the heart rate. Control over the blood pressure Similar to its effect on the heart rate, the hypothalamus controls the blood pressure by its action on the vasomotor center in the medulla oblongata. When the lateral and the posterior nuclei of hypothalamus are stimulated, the vasoconstrictor area of the vasomotor center in the medulla sends signals to the blood vessel causing vasoconstriction and there is an increase in the blood pressure. When the preoptic nuclei are stimulated, the vasodilator area in the vasomotor center of the medulla oblongata sends signal to the blood vessels causing vasodilation and there is decrease in the blood pressure. Control over appetite The hypothalamus controls the appetite that involves hunger, thirst and sexual arousal. Hunger The hypothalamus has control over the hunger by its two centers, the feeding and the satiety center. The feeding center is located in the lateral nuclei, whereas the satiety center is located in the ventromedial nucleus. Stimulation of the feeding center and inhibition of the satiety center causes hunger and increased food intake. Similarly, inhibition of the feeding center and stimulation of the satiety center reduces food intake and hunger. Thirst The anterior hypothalamus contains osmoreceptors. These receptors have the ability to sense the osmolality of the body fluids. Increased osmotic pressure of the plasma leads to movement of water from the cells to maintain the osmolality causing thirst and increased water intake. Increase in plasma osmolality occurs in case of high salt intake in the diet and sweating. This leads to drawing of interstitial fluid into the blood vessels to restore the balance. This in turn leads to increased interstitial fluid osmolality, drawing intracellular fluid and causing increase in the cellular osmolality. This process gives rise to the feeling of thirst. Sexual Behavior The hypothalamus controls the sexual behavior. It stimulates the pituitary gland to secrete gonadotropic hormones. In females, it has a regulatory effect on the ovaries and is involved in egg formation, release of progesterone and estrogen. While in males, the gonadotropin influences the testes to release testosterone. Control over sleep The hypothalamus has a regulatory effect on the activities of sleep and wakefulness. Sleep can be promoted by stimulation of the anterior part of the hypothalamus and activation of the sleep center. Thus, the hypothalamus is responsible for shutting down the brain's arousal signals and causes transition to sleep. Stimulation of the posterior hypothalamus causes activation of the wakefulness center. Control over sense of smell The posterior hypothalamus has some control over the sense of smell. Receptors of smell are located in the olfactory region of the nose that senses the odor and sends a signal to the hypothalamus through the olfactory bulb. The hypothalamus initiates a positive or a negative emotional response to the odor. Control over the circadian rhythm The physiologic activities of the body that occur in a 24-hour cycle is the circadian rhythm and are under the control of the hypothalamus. The suprachiasmatic nucleus of the hypothalamus sends signal to the different parts of the body to maintain activities like sleep, hunger, thirst, hormone secretion which are responsible to maintain the circadian rhythm. So to summarize, the functions of hypothalamus are thermoregulation, secretions from the anterior and the posterior pituitary, action on adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla, it has a control over the heart rate and the blood pressure, along with control over sleep, appetite, sense of smell and the circadian rhythm.
You can find the link to MCQs for the topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and hit the notification bell for update on new videos. So see you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.